The Playland Communities Foundation, one of the top recipients of donations so far on this San Angelo Gives May 4th at close to $160,000. That funding will help pay for major improvements at the city park in Cristobal on the town's main street. Victor Glenn went to Cristobal today to find out more about the project. He's here tonight. Victor? Yes, Carolyn. City Park in Cristoval, which used to be Playland Park, is set for a major overhaul. The space is special to many Cristoval residents, and it hasn't had any updates since the 1950s. I spoke with residents and members of the board overseeing the project to get an idea of its importance and the timeline of the project. Cristoval needs a place where the families can come together. And as, and as we're starting to grow, what we're finding is that we need, we need to develop that, that sense of family, that sense of unity. And what this park would mean to us, it's going to allow for the children to be, have a place to go, for the teenagers, for the families be able to have picnics. City Park in Cristobal has long been a gathering place for the community. From the 4th of July to Easter egg hunts and most recently the school district's county fair. Now, to accomplish the update project, a lot of hurdles need to be cleared. We have to coordinate with the county, for sure. It's their land. Uh, there's a lot of water infrastructure in the ground. There's power through here. Uh, there's a well, two wells. There's a fire hydrant over here. There's historical uh, monuments, one right over here. The $750,000 project is set to be completed by 2023 and includes several major updates to the park space and infrastructure. Major updates include pavilions, a large entertainment pavilion, a family pavilion for private parties, a picnic gazebo, actually a set of them, walking trail and more. But most exciting or one of the exciting aspects is an outdoor classroom where students will learn to appreciate the water sources we have in and around Cristobal. Right now, working on fundraising is the biggest concern, though the project did receive a boost thanks to San Angelo Gives. To help the project along, those interested are encouraged to donate or sponsor. Work on phase one of the project is due to start this summer, focusing on the water wells on the property. Underground utility work for plumbing and electrical will follow. And again, San Angelo.